So here we are in St Gabriel's Pimlico uh, in the early days of the rehearsal for the Mid Wales production of Don Giovanni, directed by Martin Lloyd Evans, with a fantastically brilliant young cast uh, about working on this to bring it to Wales and England for our long tour of Don Giovanni through the autumn. Um, it's just one of the wonders of the world, this piece. Every time I do it, every time I hear it, I, I marvel at what Mozart manages to do with this story that actually had been around for centuries. It was a Street performers did it, pantomime performers did it, commedia dell'arte performers do it, so it's far from the first time this story's come out, but Mozart and his wonderful librettist Lorenzo da Ponte, who we must not forget, um, have given us something that turns into a work of art beyond all that you'd expect from this particular story. It goes much deeper than just the story about a, a, a rake um, and how he deals with women. It goes into the heart of how people work, and he mixes this wonderful, the comedy, which Don Giovanni always was, historically, before the um, 17th and 18th centuries. He mixes that with the high seriousness, opera seria, as it's known, to have an amalgam of some things which are sometimes heart-rendingly tragic, other times very, very comic. And also, what he certainly didn't do much before this, he goes into the realm of the supernatural. Um, he had seen Hamlet, I think about eight or nine years or so before he wrote Don Giovanni, and there are certain overtones of Hamlet with the, the dead father and so forth that come into this, and one could take the overtones on a little bit further. So every time I, we as musicians uh, come to this, singers and, and players, and possibly even more so directors with the Martin Lloyd Evans, who's done such wonderful work with Mid Wales and, and Bridget, our designer, and all the team, you've got a problem because you mustn't do it differently for the sake of it, yet it's such a piece full of possibility to reinvent and, and so we've got a, a vibrant new production from Martin, but it's, that's the exciting thing, to, to reinvent it, place it somewhere new, yet it's such a great piece that as long as one is faithful to the libretto, faithful to what Mozart says in the, in the opera, says in the music, because he's the great composer for saying things in the orchestra all the time about what's going on. You should be in no doubt at any point in this piece, what's going on if all you did was listen to the orchestra, let alone anything else. So we're on this exciting cusp of finding out how it's going to work, how it's going to pan out, how the, the cast are going to interact, what they're going to find from their characters, because there isn't a definitive Don Giovanni, there's not a definitive performance, there's not a definitive reading. And um, this is an exciting journey and we hope that you will enjoy it when you catch up with the Mid Wales performances. We open in Newtown in early September and take it round many of the venues we've come to know and love in Wales and, and in England. So here's to this journey we're going to make. Um, hope we don't go like Don Giovanni to hell by the end of it. But uh, we are all very excited in Pimlico this afternoon. Mm -hmm.